This is an interesting twist on a story you probably have heard. He claimed that Harley Race came into the arena with a gun in Kansas City in the 80s and set the ring on fire. <laughs> and then when he ran into Hogan, he shook his hand, thanked him for all he had done for wrestling, and asked for a job. What? That is, that is the most extraordinary fucking story. He set the ring on fire. Set the ring on fire and thank Hogan and asked him for a job. With the company whose ring he had just burned. Is the ring burning in the background while he's talking to Hogan? Yes, I think. If I get him another ring or maybe even just a garden hose, will they hire me? What the, okay, let's dissect that for a second. Would <laughs> Harley did go in? Harley was part owner of the Kansas City territory and St. Louis eventually, and, and St. Louis and Kansas City at that yeah. point, the Central States territory. And the first time that Vince came in, Harley did go there, did he not? And Harley was not happy, was he not? And Harley, I'm sure, if he was on the premises, had a gun somewhere with him. So those things have been documented and are probably pretty true. Yes. Was Hogan even there? He may have been because, you know, again. It was the first expansion. It was 86. Yeah. Okay. He and was it was St. Louis, which was a big run. city for them. Obviously. Harley didn't go out in the arena in front of the people and set the ring on fire. That would have been Harley may thing. have. Oh my God. Have, Can you imagine a wrestler just, oh, hey, that's Harley Race. What's he doing? Oh my God. He's setting the ring on fire. <laughs> Clearly, oh he's God. unhappy. <laughs> he must be looking for a job. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's obviously trying to get on here. That worked the last time when we were in Peoria and Paul Christie set the ring on fire. And then we went to Indianapolis and Bruiser set the ring on fire. It was Angelo Poffo in Peoria that set the ring on fire. But anyway, so Harley did go and there was something, there was an altercation backstage, but Hulk Hogan has never mentioned as being a part of it. It wasn't Harley just letting people know what he thought of the whole thing and how they were running his town and everybody was pretty much letting him say whatever the fuck he was going to say so he'd leave. Is the, is the way I kind of remember it. Harley showing up with a gun is part of what I remember, but Harley carried a gun everywhere. Yeah. There was nothing about lighting the ring on fire. He would go there in a couple of years and he would work with Hogan, but I don't, if Harley Race but was he alive, I don't Hogan. know if, he <laughs> if the story would be out there. Well, also, Harley Race would not have asked Hulk Hogan for a job. Harley, Harley Race would have gone to Vince McMahon since Vince had tried to fucking bribe him just a few years earlier to fuck the whole NWA before the first Starcade. They had that kind of relationship. But maybe, maybe that's because that's when Harley told him, no, fuck off, I'm not going to do it. Vince tried to leg dive him in the restaurant, right? That story's been in the told. bathroom of the restaurant. In the bathroom of the restaurant. I apologize. You can't just leg dive somebody right out in the restaurant. You got to go in the bathroom first. It is an interesting timeline. Vince offers Harley a bunch of money to jump as NWA champion right before Starcade. Harley says no. They get into the fight in the bathroom. Vince, from all accounts, does not come out of it very well, which must have been hysterical when Linda had to go get him. Yeah. <laughs> And then months later, Harley shows up backstage at a show with a gun, unhappy, and everyone knows it's his territory. And then, of course, a year and a half later, he went to work there. That was the wrestling business back then. And, well, and then they made him the king of the ring, King Harley Race, and then they booked him in Tennessee, and Lawler sued. Because <laughs> you can't be the king in Tennessee, because Lawler's got that wrapped up. And Lawler won the lawsuit because of his... 15 years of previously using the king in the state of Tennessee, so Harley Race could not be billed as the king. But see, Lawler didn't show up with a gun when they came in his territory. He showed up with a writ of habeas corpus, corpus delecti, and corpus Christi, and went the legal route. Well, because WWE were advertising on shows nothing about the Harley king of Race, wrestling. the king yeah. of wrestling, and who would yeah. that be? So Lawler won that. Here, let's get back to some Hogan stories. Here's 